Hey YouTube, so I just want to make a, I don't know if this video will be quick or not, but I want to make a video just rambling, just talking about some things within the fandom, within the EU movement. Um, so obviously, a couple days ago now, by the time you'll be seeing this, I was included on a stream with Matt Wilkins. I've been really thinking about the stream, um, uh, it was a great stream, I loved being on there with those people, uh, even those that I didn't necessarily agree with, uh, which there was a couple of people on there I don't agree with, uh, usually I don't agree with, I should say, uh, regarding the fandom and um, things like that, but that's not the point. The point was, you know, and I didn't talk a whole lot, I know I didn't, um, but I, I, a lot of that I also, I just wanted to hear what other people have to say. I'm a good listener, I'm very open-minded, and uh, so if you're wondering if I was mad or upset that I didn't talk a whole lot or anything like that, I'm not. I was very, very happy to have been on that stream, to meet Matt, to meet all those other guys uh, for the first time, to talk, simply just talk about Star Wars and, and things in fandom. It was great. But my whole, and, and I'm really glad I got the publicity now because the whole point of my social media and YouTube presence is one, just one thing. I guess two, but they're very interconnected. Celebrating the EU and bringing more people to the EU. Because let's face it, a lot of people don't like the Disney canon, and that's fine. People don't like the sequels. Oh, and I'm sick, by the way. So that's why I sound like this, but... People don't like the sequels. People don't like uh, what the story was after Return of the Jedi. A lot of people don't. I don't. Um, I don't like the general direction. I like some of the stories that the new canon has done after Jedi, but... Generally speaking... I don't like the direction that they took the franchise. But the EU was like perfect. Not perfect, but it was a lot better. It was a lot more in line with what I think George Lucas would have done. Obviously, he didn't write any of the books, but it, I, I, I feel like if... it's It just feels more like Star Wars to me. It feels more like that's what would have happened. Um, and... That's, that's why I'm ultimately an EU fan, because, you know, I feel like we spend so much more time hating on the new stuff that we often forget. There is alternatives out there. So I think if we spent our time and energy on reading the EU, celebrating the EU, loving the EU, and, and spreading it to other people, we can off, we, we'll forget about the Disney stuff, right? Because we'll have a story that we enjoy. Um, and, and to those of you who didn't like the EU, or who didn't like other new stuff, read the EU, okay? Read the EU. You'll get a story that is much better, much more coherent, much more proper, and it's all approved by Lucas. According to Lucas, some numerous quotes have stated that Lucas approved all of this stuff. This wasn't just there just to be there, you know? This wasn't like, oh, okay, I don't really care what y'all do. Lucas didn't care, but he did approve, according to Lucasfilm, he approved all Star Wars products, so that includes the novels, that includes the comics, that includes the games, especially the games. He had more, probably more involvement with the games than he did anything else. Um, but I also want to speak to younger people in the EU that are my age. I'm only 17, not even 18 yet. I'll be 18 in about a month. So I'm not even 18 yet. Younger people, if you like the EU, talk about it. Talk about the EU. Don't be afraid to talk about it. Uh, you can come on social media. You can come on YouTube. Talk about it. Um, one of the big reasons why I'm a part of the EU movement, why I love the EU movement, is it's accepting of everyone. Everyone. No matter who you are, you can come to this movement and, be, and, and, and you can be a part of it. The only requirement, you love the EU. That's the only requirement. You can have read just a book or two, and if you love those books, you're an EU fan. See, Matt Wilkins, my favorite video he ever did was when he talked about his story, how he became an EU fan, how he um, first got into it, and he was telling a story, but he used to sort of talk about something else, really about the EU movement as well. In that video, he stated that you can have read only a book or two, a comic or two, played a couple of games, whatever it may be, and you're just as big a fan as he is, someone who's read it all. He's read it all. And in his mind, someone like me, or someone who just started, they're as big of an EU fan as he is. That is why I'm a part of the EU movement. That video 
changed me as a Star Wars fan. It gave me um, the courage and, and the the faith, to, you know, to to be so adamant about the EU, to to say that yes, this is my Star Wars. This is what I love. This is what I'm growing up with. And I think it's important to note for older EU fans out there who think that maybe the story's being forgotten. It's not. I'm evidence of that. You grew up with the EU. I'm growing up with the EU. For the past four years of my high school life, I've been reading nothing but the expanded universe, starting with the Thrawn trilogy, freshman year of high school. Now I'm in at my senior year, and I've read all the New Jedi Order, and I've read a whole bunch of other stuff here and there. I've played a bunch of games, read a bunch of comics. I've read a whole lot more now, and I still got a whole bunch more to read, but I'm growing with the EU. There's other people, um, uh, Alex on YouTube, Magneto Alex, he's reading the EU uh, for the first time, and he's growing up with it. Iron Inquisitor, he's growing up with it. Now, those guys are a little older than me, uh, but they're still younger people, and they're growing up with the EU. Their, their younger years are being spent reading the EU. And I think as young people, we need to come up and say, we need to talk about the EU more. We need to tell, because ultimately, you know, Matt Wilkins pointed this out on, on stream. He said that ultimately, they're pandering to people like me, to people like Alex, to people like Iron Inquisitor, and other people that are young like us. They're pandering to us. They're making their content for us. Because we're going to be the people most likely to consume it. We don't have to consume it. We don't have to like it. No matter what, we don't have to. We can read whatever we want. And Disney's not going to be able to do anything about it. So, don't be afraid to speak your mind. Don't be afraid to speak your opinion on stuff. Don't be afraid to do any of that. Younger people, we're going to have the loudest voice here. Because ultimately, Disney will listen to us more than anyone else. Does someone like Matt Wilkins? <laughs> you know, they know about Matt Wilkins. I'm... 90% sure that they know about him and his existence clearly they're not listening to him you know they probably view him as just this old guy who you know is raging about it's not just him though it's all of us all of us and I want to I want to go ahead and add a little bit more um, we're all EU fans it's, it's all of us against them and um, as Matt said there is no hierarchy of fandom there is no bigger EU fans. Now, there's EU fans who've consumed more than others, but in terms of someone like Matt Wilkins and someone who just started, we're equal. We're all equal because we all have the EU. All of us need to come together and ask Lucasfilm to continue the EU over and over and over again until they do it. They'll do it. It may be 10 years from now, maybe one year from now. Let's hope for the latter. But it will happen as long as we keep asking, as long as we go on their Twitter pages, their the website, as long as we go to all these different places here on YouTube or anywhere else and we ask them, they will eventually do it. The Essential Legends Collection are doing excellent. And these are just reprints of books that have been out for years. Years. A lot of them are old Banson books that have been out for 20 years now. 15 years it, not even 15 years it's way it's 20 almost 30 years actually um is actually dark force rising reaches 30th anniversary this year um enter the empire reaches 30th anniversary last year and then of course next year last commander reaches 30th anniversary and these are just reprinted books but they're doing so well on the market so up they're being celebrated and the only difference is it's a different size it's about the size of i'd say actually here's one of those uh, shorter hardcovers that banson put out they're a little smaller than the um the normal ones they're probably about this size right i don't have any of them but they're probably about this size and of course they have new cover art and these books are doing so well um so, imagine how the fans would respond if there's news out that there's a Jaina Solo trilogy. Imagine. 
imagine how interested I think people would be in. You'd be like, wait, what? New Legends? I feel like people would be so interested in that. Even fans of the Disney stuff. They're going to be interested in that because it's different. It's new. It's something you wouldn't think that they would do. And of course, for us EU fans, we would be celebrating if Sword of the Jedi came out. So, the point with all this is this. Younger people, we need to stand up and we need to join the EU movement. We need to have a voice. We need to continue to ask leaders and continue the EU. Um, and ultimately, if that doesn't happen, and if Lucasfilm comes out and says this will never happen, that's not the end. First of all, we're going to continue to keep asking. Two, we can still celebrate the EU as is. It's so big anyway. It's almost going to feel like it's never ending. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, you know, and like I said, I, I was just some, I'm just some kid on the internet, you know. Um, but I was put on that one stream. And that's greatest, one of the greatest honors I've ever had. And you're like, how is it an honor, you know? He's just, you know, I know Matt doesn't feel that way, but for someone like me, uh, his videos greatly inspired me, greatly um, just increased my passion for the EU. And these books, I mean, these books inc are incredibly meaningful to me. They, they've got me through some of the worst times that I've ever been in my life. And that's why I want more people to read them. They are the greatest escape out there. So continue reading the EU, continue celebrating the EU. Lucasfilm, continue the EU. Uh, Under the Legends banner as a non-canon alternate storyline. That's all we're asking. It's not hard. Um, so, yeah. That's basically all I wanted to talk about. Thanks for watching.